Hey, let me uh, tell you this story, right, about something, right, about someone in particular, right? Okay, this person, right, this particular person, he, uh, he's a YouTuber, that's for start. He has an afro, and pretty much he doesn't simply look at this more or less medium as profit, although at one point he did, and he simply just does it out of dumb fun, right? Oh, check this out, right? Some years back, you know, before this person became, you know, a grown man, you know, his interest, you know, ma uh, majorly, significantly, you know, evolved over time. He used to more or less dabble in the meme music, so to speak. You know, like, haha, kidding, we're not serious type music. And there's this particular artist who's, who, who, were, who was really popular in this genre. And, you know, there's like, Thousands, at one point that he made like thousands of videos on it and um, thousands of videos of his uh, meme music so to speak and eventually somewhere down the road you know he had to pack up and go you know and a couple of years later going back to that guy with the afro who simply does you know videos like this for the hell of it and you know, he kind of likes also breaking down things or explaining things, you know, explaining why it's good or in some cases why it's bad, you know, happens to mosey along on YouTube one day and make a video just like that in that fashion, right? Okay, everything's set up, right? Like he pretty much, you know, he gets his built-in uh, computer camera. It's not really professional, you know, by, you know, latent terms. And he just goes for it, right? And pretty much in this video, most of it is praise. And some of it, of course, is tongue-in-cheek humor. Like, he breaks it down analytically, but he does know this particular meme musician, you know, simply does this out of shits and giggles. I mean, you know, granted, you know, he might also have his own reasons for doing it, but the guy of the Afro, who, you know, down the road used to listen to his music simply for laughs, you know, pretty much does his piece on it, and it's pretty much undying praise. Or, you know, again, shit for shits and giggles and pokes and, you know, uh, <laughs> I just said this shit earlier. Hmm. You know, he simply did it for kicks because it was fun and it was like a retrospective video. He did it more because of a uh, nostalgia. He was recounting on a time where he used to enjoy this particular music, musician's music, right? Okay, we give this video some time, give or take like three years later, right? Like, in the span of that, like this video, yeah, may have never got like a thousand or a million views, you know, it's just some ragtag six minute video, right? Like, He's not really trying to push anything, and again, he's not doing it for profit. He simply does it, does it because he enjoys it. And this part and this uh, this uh, skeptic, yeah, yeah, skeptic, yeah, that's one. This skeptic pretty much, you know, sees just simply just did this to show a sense of appreciation, or you know the give like a nostalgic story about it like how he found it the purpose of his music and so on and whatnot and you know how i made it how it made this person feel and whatnot 
and you know the influences he you know had amongst his meme world peers right this video right you expect like there'll be like you know you'll be in hot water with copyrights but hold on that's that's the good part it's coming soon but hold on and the video itself right despite you know this person you know giving an analytical breakdown and you know a discussion about this me musician when he does it right like he doesn't even like like he stays as clean as possible like he tries to keep his hands you know out of the filth at all times by hell not even using any of his music in the background or any clips from his show all he had was a shitty built-in camera right and he pretty much had a sugar crash at the time so it was kind of almost nonchalant it was really unscripted it was just pure like like by scratch just pure thoughts just thrown on the screen right he, uses, he doesn't use any of his music although he may have mentioned a few of his songs in the video but never really used any of his music right doesn't use any of his music doesn't even use any of the clips from his videos when he made his the analytical one like he, he stayed you know as clean as he can hell in fact he's so clean that even in you know the video's description bar he even get he even counts and gives credit to the original musician right like he was saying like you know i'm using your name and shit so yeah i mean i ain't using your likeness or anything so here you go so everything's cool right just pure two years where just nothing was going on it was almost kind of like fair use at this point and, and the point he gave also credit to the original artist and what it seemed to be amongst one of the most popular video one of his popular videos I meant uh, these these are two different people these two different people th that I'm talking about now and yeah in that two years this dude this musician popped right up right and decided that he can copyright it. And hold on. Well, probably even previous of like dozens of videos that was literally about the exact same topic in the exact same fashion. But one lowly guy on the internet who ain't asked for much, ain't not even use your likeness. I was trying to profit off it anyway. Like he was being as fair and, 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 and as legal as he can when he was uh, more or less using his name. But, you know, he tried to find some way to just get your ass in a sticky fly trap or mouse trap. And he did it over a simple picture that you use as your thumbnail some like shitty you know amateurish graphic design that he literally made on the YouTube website and that alone will cause you to get a copy strike and the original artist himself says somehow took this to offense because maybe he thought I was using his likeness although you know this person wasn't you know, intentionally using his likeness for any uh, financial opportunities at all. He was just simply just spitting how he was feeling about this person. But he found a way to more or less to get him somehow in that mouse trap. He just had to get there in this bear trap, this sticky paper. It's just some way or another he had to get him. And he got him from a simple picture like a like a simple jpeg picture that you literally can find off google by typing in this said person's name like some you can literally like when you look at a youtube video of them you'll pause it like one minute and get a screenshot of them to use as your thumbnail like like the pit how the way he got the, the picture that was used for the thumbnail was so inconvenient 
that it just seems so. It, it would at one point it would just seem so. What's the word I'm looking for? It would seem so miraculous, uh, yeah, miraculous, or just vapid or inane for him to just use that as a coffee strike, despite, you know, hundreds of literally other said YouTubers probably did the same thing. But when one guy just did a simple little rant video, does it, wasn't trying to at all, trying to offend the said artist, or try to, you know, profit off his name and likeness or nothing. Literally does it. One person, not a lot of views, not a lot of subscribers, you know, for a while, even after those few years that said we were still getting a lot of attention. That one person, above all thousands, who probably did the same thing, rather be on the same artist or not, gets a strike from it. That's all I'm just, that, that's just my little story. Right there, like of all the shit, right? Didn't even use any of your mu didn't even use this person didn't use any of the said person's music or any clips from his video or nothing like that. But he just had to find some way to do it, right? Man, it's a doggy dog world, bro. <laughs> I guess or something. Well, y'all post down in the comments below, like, should it have been like an alternate ending to this story or how would you write it or anything? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's that, bro. Like always, man, that, the ad is still just watching you. But you didn't get it from me. You got it from the guy who was throwing in this predicament. So, you know, no likeness to this. No credit for me.